I be Captain Joe, and the good people at Seafarer Holidays have asked me to put together a video of sailing terms and what they mean. Because these terms can be impenetrable to those that are not salty sea dogs, such as myself. So first things first, as you can see from my diagram, by this bolt. The front of the bolt here is called the bow. And that bits the front and it goes forwards. The blunt end down here is called the stern, and that's the back of the bolt. Now when we're sailing along, if the, uh, the side of the bolt where the wind's coming from is called the windward side. So that's windward, where the wind is coming from. And the other side is called the leeward side of the bolt, as you can also see from this diagram. Now for which direction the bolt's going. Port means left. And that, and when the bolt's going in the port direction, the wind is coming from the port or left-hand side of the bolt. Starboard means right. When we're going in the starboard direction, the wind is coming over the right-hand side of the bolt. Starboard, right. Now let's move inside our scurvy ship. First, the place where you sleep is called a cabin. From the old English word cabana, meaning any sort of structure that you might sleep on on any sort of boat. We go to the toilet on a boat in the heads. This is also a bathroom. And it's named after the area on sailing ships uh, next to the figurehead where sailors would do their business. And finally, the galley is where we do our cooking on a boat. And basically it's named after the ancient mariners. They had these things called galleries or big hot cooking stoves. And they used to cook that way on their ships. Moving outside our boat, the draft means how deep our boat is in the water. And we've got to make sure that we don't go anywhere shallower than our draft, otherwise we'll hit the bottom and end up marooned on a desert island drinking rum for lots of time. Which isn't so bad, but might be bad and expensive. To measure speed, we use the term knots. And basically what this means, it's one nautical mile per hour or 1800 meters an hour. And then it comes in the term when they old old sailing people, they used to pay out a rope with knots in it over a certain amount of time. And how many knots that went through their hands was how fast they were going. And that's knots. A halyard is a piece of rope that pulls sails up and down on boats. Any sail, pull it up and down with a halyard. Our scurvy ship can't sail straight into the wind. Some boats will go so close than others. But we call, if we're stuck in this place where we can't go into the wind, we call we're in irons and the sails will flap in irons. A chart is a map of the sea. But unlike a, a land map, which has useless information like villages, fields, roads and so on, it has useful stuff like shallows, reefs, rocks, maybe even a wreck and sometimes sea monsters. Whatever you do, don't call a chart a sea map. They don't like it. I don't like it. A fathom is a useful measurement. And it's basically, excuse me a second. <laughs> it's basically a measure this long. One end to the other. And it means six feet, two yards, or 1.86 meters. That's a fathom. And it's a very way, easy way of measuring a rope over your chest like that. That's a fathom. Now ashore is where we get our grog, after a hard day sailing, and that's the main usage of it. Not as good as the sea. And finally, a flotilla, from the Spanish word, is a group of boats that sail around together, and the good people at Seafarer have a number of them all over the world. So I'd like to wish you fair winds and calm seas, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Any more terms you'd like me to describe, please comment below and we'll make sure they get we'll do another video and uh, make it happen.